Welcome to the 2024 DMV New York Written Test. This comprehensive test includes 120 questions and answers to assist you in preparing for the real exam. Should you make any errors, be sure to take notes and review the handbook. Before we begin, please don't forget to like and subscribe to support this channel. Now, let's get started. Question 1. If red lights are flashing at a railroad crossing, you may cross when? A. The lights have stopped flashing. B. The train is at least 100 feet away. C. There is enough room on the opposite side of the tracks. D. The train is at least 50 feet away. The correct answer is A. The lights have stopped flashing. Question 2. If you see this sign, it means you are A. In a city. B. In the wrong lane. C. On an expressway. D. Driving the wrong way. The correct answer is D. Driving the wrong way. Question 3. Before you enter a roadway from an alley, you must first A. Beep your horn. B. Come to a complete stop. C. Yield to other traffic. D. Look both ways. The correct answer is B. Come to a complete stop. Question 4. If you are on a one-way or two-lane road and reach an intersection with a divided highway or a roadway with three or more lanes, you must A. Yield the right of way to the traffic on the main road. B. Make a left turn to merge into traffic. C. Stop and make a right turn to merge into traffic. D. Do none of the above. The correct answer is a yield the right of way to the traffic on the main road. Question 5. When changing lanes, you should check for hazards blank your vehicle. A. In front of, behind, and beside. B. Beside. C. Behind. D. In front of. The correct answer is A. In front of, behind, and beside. Question 6. You are driving on a highway with a posted speed limit of 65 miles per hour. Most of the traffic is traveling at 70 miles per hour, so you should be driving no faster than A. 45 miles per hour B. 30 miles per hour C. 65 miles per hour D. 20 miles per hour The correct answer is C. 65 miles per hour. Question 7. Which of the following traffic regulations typically applies to vehicle movement within a school zone? A. Right turns are restricted during certain hours. B. Overtaking school buses is allowed with caution. C. Turning left is prohibited at all times. D. Making U-turns is strictly prohibited. The correct answer is D. Making U-turns is strictly prohibited. Question 8. Which of the following should you avoid when a vehicle has stopped at a crosswalk to let a pedestrian cross? A. Continuing driving past the stopped vehicle. B. Speeding up to pass quickly. C. Blowing the horn loudly. D. Changing lanes abruptly. The correct answer is a continuing driving past the stopped vehicle. Question 9. If your gas pedal is stuck, what should you do? A. Keep driving until you run out of gas. B. Brake hard. C. Call 911 on your cell phone. D. Shift into neutral. The correct answer is D. Shift into neutral. Question 10. You are parked on the left side of a one-way street, facing downhill. Which way should you point your front wheels? A. To the left. B. In any direction. C. Straight. D. To the right. The correct answer is A. To the left. Question 11. A tractor trailer in the lane to your right is about to make a right turn. Be alert because A. Trucks are only allowed to make turns from the right lane. B. The truck may need to move into the left lane. C. The truck will be turning slower than other vehicles. 
D. Trucks are not allowed to make right turns. The correct answer is B. The truck may need to move into the left lane. Question 12. When changing lanes, you should take the following steps. Signal, check your mirrors, change lanes, and stop signaling. What step is missing here? A. Check behind you. B. Check for other vehicles. C. Yield. D. Look over your shoulder. The correct answer is D. Look over your shoulder. Question 13. What does this sign mean? A. You must stop. B. You must turn left. C. You must go straight. D. You must change lanes. The correct answer is C. You must go straight. Question 14. In New York State, you must drive with your headlights on from one half hour after sunset to one half hour before sunrise and whenever. A. Visibility is less than 2,000 feet. B. It is very cloudy. C. Visibility is less than 1,000 feet. D. Your parking. The correct answer is C. Visibility is less than 1,000 feet. Question 15. If another vehicle is passing you on the left, do not. A. Look at the other driver. B. Speed up. C. Check your mirrors. D. Slow down. The correct answer is B. Speed up. Question 16. If you are convicted of speeding through a work zone in New York State, a. Your license will be suspended. B. You will have to pay the usual fine for speeding. C. You will have to pay double the usual fine for speeding. D. Both A and C will happen. The correct answer is C. You will have to pay double the usual fine for speeding. Question 17. When leaving a parking space, you should do all of the following except A. Beep your horn. B. Yield to other vehicles. C. Look over your shoulder. D. Signal before you start moving. The correct answer is A. Beep your horn. Question 18. You may not park, stand, or stop in which of the following locations? A. In a crosswalk. B. Within 15 feet of a fire hydrant. C. On a bridge. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D, all of the above. Question 19. As you approach an intersection, you see a pedestrian entering the crosswalk. You must stop. A. After both crosswalk lines. B. Before the crosswalk. C. In the crosswalk. D. After the first crosswalk line. The correct answer is B. Before the crosswalk. Question 20. When there is water on the roadway, you must reduce your speed to avoid A. Wear and tear B. Traction of the tires on the road C. Hydroplaning D. Overheating of the tires The correct answer is C. Hydroplaning Question 21. To enter a freeway from an acceleration lane, you should A. Drive slower than freeway traffic until after you've merged with it b. Increase your speed to match that of freeway traffic. c. Increase your speed beyond the speed limit to merge smoothly. d. Come to a complete stop and wait for an opening in traffic. The correct answer is b. Increase your speed to match that of freeway traffic. Question 22. When you encounter this sign, you must a. Yield to oncoming traffic. b. Stop only if you see other traffic approaching. C. Come to a complete stop and yield to approaching traffic. D. Yield to approaching traffic. The correct answer is C. Come to a complete stop and yield to approaching traffic. Question 23. You are driving at 65 miles per hour when you encounter this sign. What does it mean? A. You will have to slow down ahead. B. You are approaching a school zone. C. You can maintain your present speed. D. You will have to speed up ahead. The correct answer is A. You will have to slow down ahead. Question 24. To exit a parallel parking space, which of the following actions is not required? A. 
checking your mirrors, B. Turning the steering wheel sharply to the left, C. Signaling your intention, D. Looking over your shoulder. The correct answer is B. Turning the steering wheel sharply to the left. Question 25. On expressways, vehicles traveling slower than other traffic should use A. The right lane, B. The left lane, C. Whichever lane has the least traffic. D. The center lane. The correct answer is at the right lane. Question 26. This sign means that you are approaching A. A tourist information center. B. A dead end. C. A T intersection. D. A public transportation stop. The correct answer is C. A T intersection. Question 27. Which of the following statements about blind spots is true? A. There are large blind spots in front of, behind, and on the sides of large vehicles. B. Large trucks don't have blind spots because they are equipped with special mirrors. C. A large vehicle has large blind spots only on the sides. D. None of the above are true. The correct answer is A. There are large blind spots in front of, behind, and on the sides of large vehicles. Question 28. How close are you prohibited from parking to a crosswalk at an intersection? A. 15 feet. B. 10 feet. C. 5 feet. D. 20 feet. The correct answer is D. 20 feet. Question 29. This sign is used for A. Showing tourist routes. B. Marking the route to a hospital. C. Showing alternate routes during road closures or construction. D. Showing designated routes. The correct answer is C. Showing alternate routes during road closures or construction. Question 30. When are you allowed to drive on the shoulder of the road to pass another vehicle on the right? A. Never. B. If the vehicle has stopped for an emergency. C. If the vehicle is turning right. D. If the vehicle is turning left. The correct answer is A. Never. Question 31. If you miss your exit on an expressway, what should you do? A. Pull over to the shoulder and call for help. B. Back up to reach your exit. C. Continue to the next exit. D. Make a U-turn to reach your exit. The correct answer is C. Continue to the next exit. Question 32. When can you drive in a lane marked with the sign? A. Only if you are carrying at least one passenger. B. If you are driving a truck. C. If you are in a hurry. D. Only if you are carrying at least two passengers. The correct answer is A. Only if you are carrying at least one passenger. Question 33. How many feet must you return to your lane before any oncoming vehicle comes within range when passing another vehicle on the left? A. 300 feet. B. 200 feet. C. 50 feet. D. 100 feet. The correct answer is B. 200 feet. Question 34. At an intersection with a red traffic light, you must stop before A. An unmarked crosswalk. B. The stop line. C. A marked crosswalk. D. Any of the above. The correct answer is D. Any of the above. Question 35. Which of the subsequent actions is a prudent measure for exiting a highway safely? A. Making abrupt lane changes just before reaching the exit ramp. B. Signaling your exit when you are directly at the exit ramp. C. Gradually decreasing your speed while on the exit ramp. D. Accelerating to match the speed of vehicles exiting the highway. The correct answer is C. Gradually decreasing your speed while on the exit ramp. Question 36. You are on a two-way roadway. You may not pass another vehicle if you are approaching blank and your view is obstructed. A. A tunnel. 
B. The top of a hill. C. A bridge. D. Any of the above. The correct answer is D. Any of the above. Question 37. Under icy or snowy conditions, which of the following is not a reasonable precaution to take? A. Remove all ice, snow, and frost from the windows. B. Start driving in the highest possible gear. C. Increase your following distance behind the vehicle ahead of you. D. Use snow tires. The correct answer is B. Start driving in the highest possible gear. Question 38. When approaching a railroad crossing, use caution. A. At all times. B. If the signals are flashing. C. Only at night. D. If there are pavement markings. The correct answer is A. At all times. Question 39. Vertical rectangular signs with black letters on a white background are used as A. Destination signs B. Warning signs C. Regulation signs D. Service signs The correct answer is C. Regulation signs. Question 40. You can travel in the lane marked with this sign. A. If you are passing the vehicle in front of you. B. If you are riding a motorcycle. C. Only if you are riding a bicycle. D. If you are carrying two or more people. The correct answer is C. Only if you are riding a bicycle. Question 41. Bicycles. A. Are not allowed on public roads. B. Are allowed to share the road with motor vehicles. C. Are only allowed in designated areas. D are entitled to a full lane width. The correct answer is B are allowed to share the road with motor vehicles. Question 42. What does a flashing yellow X signal above your lane indicate? A. You may not drive in this lane. B. You may proceed with caution in this lane. C. You may drive in this lane. D. You may only make left turns from this lane. The correct answer is D. You may only make left turns from this lane. Question 43. In which of the following situations can you pass a vehicle on the right? A. If there is road construction on the left side of the road. B. If the vehicle is turning left. C. If you're driving on the shoulder of the road. D. If the vehicle is turning right. The correct answer is B if the vehicle is turning left. Question 44. Warning signs have A. Black letters or symbols on a yellow background. B. White letters or symbols on a red background. C. White letters or symbols on a blue background. D. Black letters or symbols on a white background. The correct answer is a black letters or symbols on a yellow background. Question 45. You are approaching an intersection controlled by a stop sign. Where must you stop? A. Just ahead of the stop line. B. At the stop sign. C. Before the stop line. D. On the stop line. The correct answer is C. Before the stop line. Question 46. Which of the following is not a sign of an aggressive driver? A. Speeding up to block another vehicle from changing lanes. B. Driving slower than the speed limit. C. Making obscene gestures. D. Tailgating, following too closely. The correct answer is B. Driving slower than the speed limit. Question 47. You are driving the blue car in this picture. Can you make the turn shown? A. Yes, as long as you come to a complete stop first. B. Yes, the other cars will stop to let you in. C. No, cars are approaching from both directions. D. No, you cannot turn left onto a divided highway. The correct answer is a yes, as long as you come to a complete stop first. Question 48. To make a U-turn, start the turn from 
A. Whichever lane is most convenient. B. The right lane. C. Whichever lane you are currently in. D. The left lane. The correct answer is D. The left lane. Question 49. You are driving a vehicle that is not equipped with an anti-lock braking system, ABS. To stop on an icy surface, what should you do? A. Apply continuous pressure to the brake pedal. B. Pump the brakes. C. Use the parking brake. D. Swerve off the road. The correct answer is B. Pump the brakes. Question 50. What does this sign mean? A. You may park to the right of the sign. B. You may not park on either side of the sign. C. You may not park to the left of the sign. D. You may park to the left of the sign but only for a few minutes. The correct answer is C. You may not park to the left of the sign. Question 51. What does the sign mean? A. There is a four-way stop ahead. B. You are going the wrong way, turn around and go back. C. There is a detour ahead. D. There is a railroad crossing ahead. The correct answer is D. There is a railroad crossing ahead. Question 52. What does the sign mean? A. There is a school zone ahead, slow down and proceed with caution. B. There is a shared section of road ahead, slow down and watch for pedestrians. C. There is a park or playground ahead, slow down and watch for pedestrians. D. There is a crosswalk ahead, prepare to stop. The correct answer is A. There is a school zone ahead, slow down and proceed with caution. Question 53. You arrive at an intersection with a yield sign, what must you do here? A. Slow down and yield to traffic. B. Look only in the direction of the yield sign. C. Stop and yield to traffic. D. Yield only if you are turning. The correct answer is A. Slow down and yield to traffic. Question 54. How many feet before turning must you begin to signal according to New York State regulations? A. 50 feet. B. 75 feet. C. 100 feet. D. 200 feet. The correct answer is C. 100 feet. Question 55. You are driving on a two-way roadway. You are 90 feet from the railroad crossing ahead. The railroad crossing signals are not activated. Can you pass the vehicle in front of you? A. No, you are too close to the tracks. B. Yes, you can complete the pass on the opposite side of the tracks. C. No, you must always stop at a railroad crossing. D. Yes, no trains are approaching. The correct answer is A. No, you are too close to the tracks. Question 56. When can you legally exceed the posted speed limit? A. When driving through a yellow light. B. In an emergency. C. Never. D. When passing another vehicle. The correct answer is C. Never. Question 57. What does this sign mean? A. The legal minimum speed here is 40 miles per hour at all times. B. The legal minimum speed here is 40 miles per hour under normal weather, road, and traffic conditions. C. The recommended minimum speed here is 40 miles per hour at all times. D. The recommended minimum speed here is 40 miles per hour under normal weather, road, and traffic conditions. The correct answer is B. The legal minimum speed here is 40 miles per hour under normal weather, road, and traffic conditions. Question 58. You are approaching an intersection with a green arrow signal. What does it mean? A. You may proceed in the direction of the arrow. B. You must come to a complete stop and then proceed with caution in the direction of the arrow. C. You must slow down and proceed with caution in the direction of the arrow. D. You may go straight through the intersection. The correct answer is A. You may proceed in the direction of the arrow. Question 59. A broken yellow line next to your lane means. 
A. You may pass when it is safe to do so. B. You are not allowed to pass. C. You may pass only on the right. D. You may pass a vehicle traveling in the opposite direction. The correct answer is A. You may pass when it is safe to do so. Question 60. If your brakes fail, how can you stop your vehicle? A. Gently hit the car in front of you. B. Pump the brakes. C. Sharply steer off the edge of the road. D. Turn sharply right. The correct answer is B. Pump the brakes. Question 61. A pentagonal, five-sided, sign indicates A. A rest area ahead. B. A hospital ahead. C. A school zone ahead. D. A work zone ahead. The correct answer is C. A school zone ahead. Question 62. What is the correct hand signal for slowing down or stopping? A. Right arm pointing downward. B. Left arm straight out. C. Left arm pointing upward. D. Left arm pointing downward. The correct answer is D. Left arm pointing downward. Question 63. What does this sign mean? A. A flag person is ahead. B. An icy road is ahead. C. A pedestrian crosswalk is ahead. D. A work crew is ahead. The correct answer is D. A work crew is ahead. Question 64. What does this sign mean? A. Hairpin turn ahead. B. No U turns. C. Hairpin turn ahead. D. No right turns. The correct answer is B. No U turns. Question 65. If you see this sign while you are driving in the left lane, you must A. Turn left. B. Merge into the left lane. C. Go straight. D. Turn right. The correct answer is a turn left. Question 66. You are traveling on a two-lane roadway. If a vehicle ahead of you stops for a pedestrian, A. You may only pass the vehicle on the right. B. You may change lanes and pass the vehicle quickly. C. You must not pass the vehicle. D. You may pass the vehicle only if you can see the pedestrian. The correct answer is C. You must not pass the vehicle. Question 67. Which of the following is not an effect of alcohol? A. Impaired vision. B. Increased alertness. C. Slower reactions. D. Dull judgment. The correct answer is B. Increased alertness. Question 68. What does a steady red X signal above your lane indicate? A. You may not drive in this lane. B. You may proceed with caution in this lane. C. You may only make left turns from this lane. D. You may drive in this lane. The correct answer is A. You may not drive in this lane. Question 69. In New York State, you are legally required to yield the right of way to all of the following except A. Ambulances with flashing lights. B. Police cars with sirens. C. Fire trucks sounding sirens. D. Volunteer fire trucks with blue lights. The correct answer is D. Volunteer fire trucks with blue lights. Question 70. You are driving on a divided highway. The right edge of the roadway is painted yellow. What does this mean? A. You are not allowed to pass. B. You are in a lane that must exit. C. You are beside a bike lane. D. You are driving the wrong way. The correct answer is D. You are driving the wrong way. If the yellow edge of the roadway is on your right, you are probably driving in the wrong direction. The left edge should be painted yellow, and the right edge should be painted white. Question 71. Motorcycles are legally entitled to 
A. A full lane width. B. Four feet of lane width. C. Half of a lane width. D. Ride in designated areas only. The correct answer is A. A full lane width. Question 72. In a vehicle equipped with airbags, how much space should you leave between your chest and the steering wheel by adjusting your seating position? A. 8 inches. B. 5 to 8 inches. C. 10 inches. D. 4 inches. The correct answer is C. 10 inches. Question 73. When preparing to turn, you should especially watch out for A. Bicyclists. B. Pedestrians. C. Motorcyclists. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Question 74. If a tire suddenly goes flat, you should not A. Slowly ease your foot off the accelerator. B. Hold the steering wheel tightly. C. Brake immediately. D. Steer straight ahead. The correct answer is C. Brake immediately. Question 75. You are approaching a green light when you see a traffic officer signaling you to stop. What should you do? A. Continue through the green light. B. Stop only if you see a hazard. C. Stop only if the officer is in your lane. D. Stop. The correct answer is D. Stop. Question 76. Four out of every ten crashes involve A. Truck collisions. B. Head-on collisions. C. Side collisions. D. Rear-end collisions. The correct answer is D. Rear-end collisions. Question 77. When should you yield on a green light? A. If you're about to speed up. B. If you're about to make a left turn. C. During rush hour in urban areas. D. If you're about to make a right turn. The correct answer is B, if you're about to make a left turn. Question 78. You are turning from the left lane onto a road with more than one lane in your direction. Which lane should you turn into? A. The nearest lane. B. The lane with the least amount of traffic. C. The farthest lane. D. Any lane. The correct answer is A. The nearest lane. Question 79. Solid lines on the edges of the road. A. Are on either side of a no-passing zone. B. Show you where the edges of the road are. C. Inform you of passing lanes. D. Are only present on multi-lane roads. The correct answer is B. Show you where the edges of the road are. Question 80. What is meant by drive within the range of your headlights? A. Drive with your headlights on so other drivers can see you. B. Drive as fast as possible while still seeing clearly. C. Drive at a speed that lets you stop safely within the distance that your headlights can illuminate. D. Drive so that other vehicles will be illuminated by your headlights. The correct answer is C. Drive at a speed that lets you stop safely within the distance that your headlights can illuminate. Question 81. Which of the following is not a proper step in parallel parking on the right side of the road? A. As the front of your vehicle clears the back of the vehicle in front of you, turn your wheels sharply to the left and continue backing slowly until the back of your vehicle almost touches the vehicle behind you. B. Straighten your wheels and pull forward to center the vehicle in the parking space. C. Put on your turn signal to warn other drivers that you intend to park. D. Back up slowly, turning your steering wheel to the left to aim the back of your vehicle toward the front of the vehicle behind you. The correct answer is D. Back up slowly, turning your steering wheel to the left to aim the back of your vehicle toward the front of the vehicle behind you. Question 82. If you are parking on a hill without a curb, you should turn your steering wheel. A. Toward the nearest side of the road. B. To the left. C. Away from the nearest side of the road. D. To the right. The correct answer is A. Toward the nearest side of the road. Question 83. 
In bad weather, if an oncoming driver flashes his or her headlights at you, it likely means that you a are approaching a dangerous situation. B should turn on your headlights. C should turn off your headlights. D are driving on the wrong side of the road. The correct answer is B should turn on your headlights. Question 84. This school bus is stopped with its red lights flashing. Car A. A must slow down and proceed with caution. B can proceed at the usual speed. C must stop only if school children are outside the bus. D must stop and remain stopped until the bus starts moving again. The correct answer is D must stop and remain stopped until the bus starts moving again. Question 85. You're driving in the right lane of a multi-lane roadway. You see a large panel with a flashing arrow pointing left. What does this mean? A. There is construction in the left lane. Proceed with caution. B. You must merge into the lane to your left. C. You must turn left. D. The left lane is closed. The correct answer is B. You must merge into the lane to your left. Question 86. Under New York State's implied consent law, you consent to A. Revocation of your driver license if you break the law. B. Chemical testing for alcohol or drugs. C. Always wearing your seatbelt. D. A search of your home. The correct answer is B. Chemical testing for alcohol or drugs. Question 87. Fatigue can have which of the following effects on your driving? A. Longer reaction time. B. Impaired judgment. C. Decreased awareness. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Question 88. It is especially dangerous to drink alcohol and drive at night because at night. A. The roads are busier. B. You are more likely to encounter other drunk drivers. C. Alcohol affects your judgment more. D. Your vision is already restricted. The correct answer is D. Your vision is already restricted. Question 89. What does a no parking sign mean? A. You may not load or unload your vehicle. B. You may not stop your vehicle except to obey another rule of the road. C. You may stop temporarily to load or unload passengers. D. You may stop temporarily to load or unload passengers or merchandise. The correct answer is D. You may stop temporarily to load or unload passengers or merchandise. Question 90. You're trying to merge onto an expressway. If the entrance lane is too short to allow you to accelerate to expressway speed, what should you do? A. Stop and wait for a large gap in traffic. B. Stop and wait until some driver lets you in. C. Turn on your emergency flashers. D. Merge anyway. The correct answer is A. Stop and wait for a large gap in traffic. Question 91. To pull out of a parallel parking space next to a curb, what should you do first? A. Make sure your wheels are straight. B. Reverse to make some space. C. Turn your front wheels to the left. D. Move forward. The correct answer is a make sure your wheels are straight. Question 92. For better visibility in rain, fog, or snow, use your A. Emergency flashers B. Interior lights C. High beam headlights D. Low beam headlights The correct answer is D. Low beam headlights. Question 93. Which of the following can help prevent hydroplaning in heavy rain? A. Equipping your vehicle with studded tires. B. Equipping your vehicle with good tires with deep tread. C. Avoiding four-wheel drive. 
D. Driving in low gears. The correct answer is B. Equipping your vehicle with good tires with deep tread. Question 94. After you've changed lanes, what is the last thing you do? A. Apply the brakes gently. B. Straighten your steering wheel. C. Flash your brake light. D. Switch off your turn signal. The correct answer is D. Switch off your turn signal. Question 95. For drivers under 21 in New York State, the legal limit for blood alcohol content, BAC, is A. Less than 0.08% B. Less than 0.03% C 0.05% D 0 The correct answer is D 0. Question 96. As you approach this intersection, you don't see any other vehicles around. Which of the following is true? A. You must slow down and yield if you see traffic. B. You can proceed without stopping only if you are turning right. C. You must stop anyway. D. You may proceed at your usual speed after you look both ways. The correct answer is C. You must stop anyway. Question 97. You are driving car B in the right lane of this expressway. Car A is trying to merge onto the expressway. What should you do? A. Slow down to let car A in. B. Change lanes. C. Stay in the right lane. D. Speed up to get past this situation quickly. The correct answer is B. Change lanes. Question 98. In which of the following locations are you allowed to park? A. On the roadside of a parked vehicle. B. 40 feet from a pedestrian safety area. C. On a bridge. D. In an intersection. The correct answer is B. 40 feet from a pedestrian safety area. Question 99. In New York State, who is responsible for each passenger under 16 to wear seatbelts or suitable child restraints? A. The vehicle's owner. B. You. The driver. C. The passengers themselves. D. The passenger's parent or guardian. The correct answer is B. You, the driver. Qu question 100. What does a no standing sign mean? A. You may stop temporarily to load or unload passengers or merchandise. B. You may not stop your vehicle except to obey another rule of the road. C. You may not load or unload your vehicle. D. You may stop temporarily to load or discharge passengers. The correct answer is D. You may stop temporarily to load or discharge passengers. Question 101. What is the minimum distance you must not park near a fire station driveway if you're on the same side of the road as the fire station? A. 10 feet. B. 75 feet. C. 50 feet. D. 20 feet. The correct answer is D. 20 feet. Question 102. Which of the following can help you avoid becoming an aggressive driver? A. Drink a lot of caffeinated beverages. B. Try to reach your destination as quickly as possible. C. Allow plenty of time to reach your destination on time. D. Drive in heavy traffic. The correct answer is C. Allow plenty of time to reach your destination on time. Question 103. If you plan to turn into a driveway beyond an intersection, you should. A. Signal just before you make the turn. B. Not give any turn signal. C. Signal just after you pass through the intersection. 
D. Signal before you pass through the intersection. The correct answer is C. Signal just after you pass through the intersection. Question 104. You're approaching an intersection and intend to turn left. Another car is approaching from the opposite direction and going straight. In this scenario, you should A. Turn left quickly before the other car reaches the intersection. B. Yield to the oncoming car and wait for it to pass before turning. C. Honk continuously to assert your right to turn. D. Turn left immediately and expect the other car to come to a stop. The correct answer is B. Yield to the oncoming car and wait for it to pass before turning. Question 105. You are approaching an intersection when you encounter the following, which takes priority. A. Stop sign. B. Police officer directing traffic with hand signals. C. Flashing red light. D. Steady red light. The correct answer is B. Police officer directing traffic with hand signals. Question 106. If your front wheels start to skid, what should you do? A. Take your foot off the gas pedal and shift into neutral. B. Apply the parking brake until you stop. C. Steer in the opposite direction of the skid. D. Steer to the side of the road and slow down. The correct answer is A. Take your foot off the gas pedal and shift into neutral. Question 107. What are no zones around large vehicles? A. Areas where large trucks are not allowed to drive. B. Specially marked rest stops for truck drivers. C. Areas where the truck driver has limited or no visibility. D. Lanes designated for faster moving vehicles. The correct answer is C. Areas where the truck driver has limited or no visibility. Question 108. Under New York State law, whenever you turn on your windshield wipers in bad weather, you must also A. Turn on your headlights. B. Drive slower than 55 miles per hour. C. Drive slower than 35 miles per hour. D. Make sure your vehicle's running lights are on. The correct answer is A. Turn on your headlights. Question 109. What is the correct way for an ATV or snowmobile to cross a roadway? A. At a 90-degree angle to the road surface. B. Along the same direction as the flow of traffic. C. As slowly as possible to avoid accidents. D. At the quickest and most convenient spot possible. The correct answer is A at a 90 degree angle for the road surface. Question 110. The lane with the arrows should be used to A. Slow down before exiting the expressway. B. Stop before merging onto the expressway. C. Proceed slowly and merge onto the expressway. D. Accelerate to expressway speed before merging. The correct answer is D. Accelerate to expressway speed before merging. Question 111. You are driving in the rightmost lane of a multi-lane road. You approach an emergency vehicle with flashing lights that is stopped on the side of the road that is adjacent to your lane. What should you do? A. Slow down. Also move into a non-adjacent lane if possible. B. Move into a non-adjacent lane if possible, otherwise, slow down. C. Slow down. D. Stop. The correct answer is a slow down. Also move into a non-adjacent lane if possible. Question 112. Car A is the last car to arrive at the intersection. Car A can turn left. A after it stops and yields to cars B and C. B immediately, it has the right of way. C after it stops and yields to car C only. D only if the other cars are turning right. The correct answer is A after it stops and yields to cars B and C. 
Question 113. If you are found guilty of an alcohol-related or a drug-related traffic violation, A. Your vehicle will be seized. B. You will lose your driving privileges. C. You will be issued a special license. D. You will go to jail. The correct answer is B. You will lose your driving privileges. Question 114. At an intersection, if you see a pedestrian using a guide dog or carrying a white cane, you must A. Use your horn to alert the pedestrian. B. Stop your vehicle. C. Switch on your headlights to alert the pedestrian. D. Reduce your speed and pass slowly. The correct answer is B. Stop your vehicle. Question 115. To avoid fatigue, you should A. Drive on straight roads when possible. B. Take a rest break every two hours. C. Drink lots of fluids. D. Avoid driving in heavy traffic. The correct answer is B. Take a rest break every two hours. Question 116. Which of the following statements about driving while intoxicated, DWI, is true? A. You may refuse a chemical test without penalty. B. You can be convicted even without a chemical test. C. If you refuse a chemical test, you cannot be convicted. D. Chemical tests cannot be used as evidence to convict you. The correct answer is B. You can be convicted even without a chemical test. Question 117. If you see an oncoming vehicle in your lane, what should you do? A. Veer as far to the right as you safely can. B. Slow down. C. Sound your horn. D. Do all of the above. The correct answer is D. Do all of the above. Question 118. You are approaching a railroad crossing and see a train in the distance. What is the safest course of action? A. Wait until you are absolutely sure you have enough time and space to cross completely before the train arrives. B. Speed up to try and beat the train across the tracks. C. Begin to cross, even if you're not sure you can clear the tracks entirely. D. Cross only if the crossing gate is fully up, even if there are flashing lights. The correct answer is D. Cross only if the crossing gate is fully up, even if there are flashing lights. Question 119. You see a bicyclist approaching the roundabout on your left as you're about to enter. Who has the right of way in this situation? A. You because you are in a car, and cars have priority. B. The bicyclist, because they were already in the roundabout. C. The bicyclist, because bicycles must be treated like any other vehicle. D. The person who will get through the roundabout the fastest. The correct answer is B. The bicyclist, because they were already in the roundabout. Question 120. If you see an oncoming vehicle in your lane, what should you do? A. Veer as far to the right as you safely can. B. Slow down. C. Sound your horn. D. Do all of the above. The correct answer is D. Do all of the above. We've completed 120 practice questions. If you've made any errors, please make a note of them and review the handbook. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing and clicking the like button. Thank you for watching, and best of luck!